you so much for visiting my studio. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's amazing. It's a, such a short period of time, but the sparks of the, all the idea or stimuli is amazing. I don't like the stuff completed. Completed work does not leave any room for imagination or my own interpretation. Mm -hmm. I like Basho's haiku so mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. because 757 no, 57577, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. only the simple character, very concise abstract representation, mm -hmm. which evokes all the imagination and the imagery in my memory. Mm -hmm. Based on my experience in my life, I have to visualize mm -hmm. materials in my brain. Mm -hmm. But this also brings back all the tactile sensation on my trip, lonely trip in the uh, uh, north part of Japan, for example, in the summer. Mm -hmm. So, some kind of abstractness leaving uh, enough blank space mm -hmm. to let people feel it's so important. That's the essence of Japanese art. Mm -hmm. And your piece has all. Mm -hmm. But more than that, when you start talking, mm -hmm. your body becomes also another paintbrush. Mm -hmm. And you're painting using your body. Mm -hmm. So your mind, passion, body has no boundary. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised because all the movement is so elegant and graceful. <laughs> because you're not just standing to stand. Mm -hmm. Your entire body is thinking. Mm -hmm. so your body is brain. Mm -hmm. Your body is medium. Mm -hmm. I like how you talk about the body thinking. Yes. The body thinking, and you, you said, you know, my body is a paintbrush, and and that's that's interesting because I think a lot about the gesture, the gesture of the brush yes. stroke, and also just the gesture away from yes. the brush. Yes. I've seen, uh, for example, Yo Yo Ma. Oh, and yes. what's interesting about him is he sits like this. Yes. So his cello is there even yes. when he's when it's not. Oh, there. I see, I see. But you know? I see, yeah. And same with me. I don't have the brush, you know. Yes, I yes. but I it's here. And yes. it may and not even in this form, yes. but in a form that's has even yes. less boundaries. Isn't that interesting? It goes towards your idea of the ghostly presence. Thing, so striking you mm -hmm. you can interact with inert objects like a sculpture mm -hmm. you are giving the life mm -hmm. then you are interacting but seeing through people really believe this is living things mm -hmm. and from the photo you can't tell mm -hmm. which is sculpture you can be sculpture frozen mm -hmm. for a thousand years then this might be the right person mm -hmm. this ambiguity you really blur the boundary mm -hmm. the art is so artistic mm -hmm. and maybe past the art Mm -hmm. yeah. And that and that that blurring of the boundary, uh, and and that be, that being done in the realm of art, is interesting in the context of human computer interaction. I believe so. Because um, yeah. um, you you describe this hierarchy of art and the vision at yes. the top of that hierarchy. So most important, inspire. And, and then the next level is design, design. utility, usability, yeah. application, practicality. This is everything the industry demands. System has to be usable. And then the bottom level? Enabling technology. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and why tell us why art is it the vision? Why that the longevity of it? Um, because why art, is it at the top level? Because why is it art simply inspires. Mm -hmm. Art exists because Florence, Firenze, mm -hmm. was so amazing. Entire city itself is so stimulating and inspiring, beautiful. After all the artists are gone mm -hmm. 500 years ago, that's something amazing. But it is all the technology market, mm -hmm. what we are spending so much time. Beautiful, cool, usable, mm -hmm. but it's gone after a few years, 10 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. Nothing lasts longer than our lifespan. Mm -hmm. But the real concept, vision, has to have a much longer Lifespan. The vision, the yeah, art, the yeah. art, that's what lasts. Yeah. Yeah. So we are gone, mm -hmm. but these people are still moving, mm -hmm. walking somewhere, mm -hmm. pointing the new direction. But this guy looking back something, mm -hmm. he tried to... But the Just like the breaststroke continues, even after continue. you finish the yes. breaststroke, yes. a great breaststroke yes. should keep going in many but, more uh, ways than one. You cut this painting by frame, so mm -hmm. you didn't describe what he's looking at. Mm -hmm. That's a mystery, that's a point. Mm -hmm. All the people coming about a hundred years, keep trying to decode, interpret mm -hmm. what she meant, mm -hmm. what this guy was looking. Mm -hmm. That's the room mm -hmm. of the white space mm -hmm. which keeps stimu stimulating people. Mm -hmm. 
So you didn't give us answer. Mm. You threw the interesting question mm -hmm, mm -hmm. captured in a space. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But these guys are moving, mm -hmm. stimulating. Mm -hmm. So that's a beauty mm. of your work. Mm. Well, thank you so much. It's an honor for you to visit the studio. Oh, it's a, it's a great order. It's amazing. I never expected it. Usually I make I, 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 I love I love your music bottles. Oh, thank uh, you. And I had to give you a private concert today because of the, oh, yes. the music uh, in bottles. Your, in your future, uh, we're very close to complete the very robust uh, transport of technology. One of the big dish, it's which contains all the sensors. Mm -hmm. So you can put any sound into the bottles. Mm. Technically, it's easy. For example, one art installation we did is that uh, one philosopher, Marvin Minsky, is in here. Mm -hmm. Open it, he mm -hmm. starts talking about artificial intelligence. Comes out of the bottle. If you bring another bottle, bottle see, see more papa, open it, then there's a dialogue. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, you can put anything you can imagine mm -hmm. into the, any bottles. So, that's the most important thing. Is it's empty, only your imagination can feel. Uh -huh. You can complete the work. Uh -huh. So don't complete the yeah. work. Yeah. Just stimulate yeah. and leave enough space yeah. for the people of the next hundred or two hundred years. And that's, that's why the ENSO that I created is it's open at the end. The yes. End yes. It's open so yes. that it's not closed. That's, that's infinity. So mm -hmm. important. Y yes. That's, that's infinity. For me, this ENSO mm -hmm. is infinite spiral loop. Yes. I see the depth. Mm -hmm. I think so in the I of grass, you saw the new axis. Yes, yes, you yeah. said for the... So I mm -hmm. see, I see infinite uh, iteration, yes, reincarnation. Yes, 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 and that's yes. why there's a, 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 bit, a, a bit of a, a twist in the in the end. So because yes. It, yes. It, it implies yes. a spiral, yes. it implies a, a, a higher order, and yeah. a, a next order yeah. uh, level uh, each time you go uh, yeah. around the end. It has the same beauty, like a uh, pattern in the dune, in the dune, all the window, a uh, wind sculpt mm -hmm. leaves a mark. Mm -hmm. People project a lot of the meaning image, mm -hmm. but just sound and the wind. Uh -huh. But it's so beautiful, so evokes people's imagination. Uh -huh. Same as meaning of the pattern of the leaves. Mm -hmm. It just leaves. The, the people read all the meaning. In the same way, this abstractness gave so enough space to pray. Mm -hmm. So and so yeah. stimulate people so many different stories. Different, different words. So what, what did you think about the, uh, the, the uh, original composition? that I played for you and the jazz piece, the two flute pieces that I jazz played for you. Jazz is something very familiar mm -hmm. and uh, I know uh -huh. this is kind of space. Uh -huh. But the first one is so mysterious mm -hmm. and the uh, moving, it sounds like something familiar mm -hmm. but also new. Mm -hmm. But the more than that, you kindly play this music mm -hmm. for stranger mm -hmm. meaning. But also you are doing a lot of the effort mm -hmm. using your lung mm -hmm. and air, mm -hmm. oxygen. You breathe so much air. In the city, I don't hear the sound mm -hmm. of the people breathing the air. Mm -hmm. before. So before you start praying, you're praying. Mm -hmm. Before you're drawing, already you're drawing. Mm -hmm. And you said, drawing never ends here. Mm -hmm. It's still continuing. Mm -hmm. It's coming from the body mm -hmm. and the air. Mm -hmm. So beauty of the music you play, mm -hmm. beauty of the drawing, is capturing the never-ending gesture of your body. And then the diminuendo at the end, the note that just keeps going. But it's not ending. Still you are here. You are breathing. Yeah. So I see all the continuity. Yeah. That's the reason I see the infinite spiral. Ah, thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. Great, great because your work is so mm -hmm. stimulating. That's so I naturally reacted. <laughs> also, I envy, also, I envy you because you can use the entire mind, body, <laughs> as a medium. Uh -huh. I have to still rely on certain technology or PowerPoint slide. Yeah. Well, you're you're doing groundbreaking work that's uh, going I don't to think so, but, uh, benefit many yeah. many many generations, and it's a very important. In our uh, in our world uh, today, and that's exactly the kind of thing we, we like to cover on the Valley Zen blog Great. that we have. So we like I'd like to, to feature that. I'd like to read it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. An off to more adventures. <laughs>